Hey everybody. I really hope everybody is doing good, like honestly, and even better than good. I hope everybody is doing the best that they can and always improving because that's what we have to do. Even when we're negative, like I have been and I am now, and I'm trying to be positive all the time, every day, like every other minute I'm trying to be positive, okay? Because things feel hopeless in this time for some of us, okay? And it gets hard. We just keep going forward. That's all we can do, okay? Now, for a guy like me, I'm a single guy. I work hard. I don't make enough money. Not lately, anyway. There's going to be a time when I'm going to go up again, you know, because I've been up and I've been down. I've been in the middle and I've been even above up. Okay. And I've been even below down and I'm talking fucking low before when I was young. All right. And the feeling is the same. Okay. Nothing changes. Even like when I'm striving for to get better and things have a setback. I still get that negative feeling that I always had when I was at the fucking lowest point, okay? And I always have to overcome that. Sometimes I smoke a joint, you know? It doesn't make anything better, okay? It kind of makes my nerves relax. I lift weights to do that. And it helps a lot. And I can't always do it because it makes me so fucking sore, okay, when I lift weights. Because now I'm only doing it every... <sighs> Like once a week, basically, once every five days. So when I'm done it, like last time I just lifted weights, I did uh, squats and I did some good mornings. And my back was so sore, it's pathetic. My legs were so sore. They're still sore up here in, in my hamstrings. And that's from a few days ago. And for me to do it every, every day again, it's like, and not be sore from it. It's kind of like I'm just being, I'm doing endurance, right? I'm going there to socialize at the gym. I haven't been at the gym forever. And I don't even plan on going, actually. You know, I wouldn't mind going to a different gym sometimes down here, downtown. And, but for what? You know, it's going to cost me money, which everything is so expensive now. If I go to the gym for one day, if they don't give me a day pass, like for free, it's going to cost me 20 bucks, 25 bucks just to work out. If I sign up for the year, it's what, 40, 50, 60 bucks a month? I got the gym right here in my living room. I always said a real weightlifter steps over a barbell in his living room, right? And I do that. <laughs> I always said I hated steroids. I don't respect anything that steroids has to offer, actually. Right? Anyone with steroids that takes steroids, without the steroids, you're not even, you're not even close to what you are right now when you're on, okay? And that's a true fact. To each their own, do what you want, all right? I'm 50 years old right now. I've never done steroids, and I'm a 350-pound-plus bench presser. And I can overhead press my body weight. And I can squat, not too bad. And I can deadlift, not too bad. And I can always improve my stuff, right? I can always improve it. Right now, I'm only 200 and fucking... 13 pounds or so basically I can weigh myself and go from there but I don't know I don't even really give a fuck I don't gotta eat two three meal right now I'm only eating one meal a day okay everything's so fucking expensive all right I'm gonna go actually this I'm gonna go tomorrow probably I'm gonna go get uh, I'm gonna start doing like a protein shake again me my oatmeal again, my fruits, all kinds of shit. And the fucking, I got this ninja mixer, right? And it's really good. And I can eat my whole meal in the whole thing, right? I can put it all in there. I can put eggs in there, anything. That's what I'm going to do this time. Raw eggs, I'm going to eat it all in a blender. And I'm going to eat uh, that in the morning. And then, I'm going to eat my normal meal at nighttime, which is eggs, usually, and potatoes. That's all I usually eat, okay? I haven't eaten salmon steaks for a while. I'm going to start getting some of those again, too. Just got to go to the grocery store. 
and do my shit, right? And then I know I'll recover better. And basically, I only eat one meal a day, and I'm 210 pounds, okay? And I could lose some weight. Like, if I was to be ripped, ripped, I'd be like 195 again. All right, like in my profile picture, 195, I was ripped. You know, even 200 pounds. I don't need to be much over 200 pounds, even 190. Like, honestly. I don't really care, like, about being huge, huge or nothing, right? My goal was to always be strong, right? If I can bench 350, I'm happy, all right? Always. Even 300, I was always like, if I could do 300, I'm going to be fucking strong. If I could be that... Always consistently do 300 pounds any day of the week. No spotter, natural, no steroids, no drugs. Because a lot of you guys have never even done 300 naturally in your whole life. And that's a true fact. But I'll tell you the truth. At 275, when I could bench 275, I felt strong. All right. Once I could hit 275 for one, I felt strong, to be honest. And that's a pretty good uh, weight right there to be at. Anyways, the overhead press is the king if you want to be, if you want to have total body strength, okay? And that's the truth. 185 is solid. But in these times right now, it's things are crazy, man. I just noticed that. Like I'm out here on, a, on an island, right? I'm secluded. I don't really see the things that other places see. And I know things are going bad. It's like, meet the new boss, same as the old boss, right? Down south in the United States, like really, right? Come on. Everything's, you think everything's true? Like really, right? I can take one level and it's a little bit off than the other one. All right, nothing's totally fucking true. Just like up here, we got like, everything's getting taken over from within, right? North America gets taken over from within, right? And you can see how it's happening, right? Right in front of us. What can we do? We just got to eat and sleep and survive, right? Keep yourselves aware of things that are going on. Because you don't want to be like a frog in a pot, getting warmer and warmer and warmer. Until we die. Without even knowing. And that's not true. I mean, that's not right. We don't have to be that way. Is everything ordained? Is everything pre-written, really? Is everything fate? What do you think? I'm just going to ramble and ramble every day. <laughs>